Hi guys, Alex Forte here at the Art of Simple Golf and I'm with John Ship. He is a golf fitness expert and sort of mobility expert. Is that a good way to kind of describe? How would you describe yourself, John? Yeah, I, I would say that. First of all, hi everyone. Um, yeah, increasing uh, ranges of motion to support golf to create as much speed and power as possible. Okay. Would be. All right, speed and power and a bit more mobility yeah. are what we're after. Now, this is very timely because I'm actually really stiff myself today, but we are showing you, uh, you know, a few moves that you can do in three minutes just before you hit your first shot, either on the range or on the first tee. And what's this quick warm-up going to do apart from, you know, just warm us up? What's it preparing us for? It's, it's preparing the body to get ready for the motions that you're going to do for golf. So we're looking at um, the aspects of the swing where most people feel a, a lack of range or stiff, yeah, yeah. they would say, uh, and then trying to introduce movements that teach the body to be able to get there in, in a safe way so it feels like you can do it on a daily basis. So it doesn't feel too strenuous? Yes, yeah, so it feels nice and easy. And like everything in the golf swing should be nice and relaxed, so hopefully the movements should um, carry over so you can get there easy and so you feel nice. And okay, all right. So we're going to get to those few moves right now. Let's go for it. Okay, so um, a lot of people from these days are back of the legs, hamstrings, okay. very, very tight normally. Yep. So um, I do the hamstrings a little bit differently. I try and do them with one foot in front of the other to try and get a bit more, more reaction through them. So uh, we're going to do simple ones for reaching backwards and forwards and then getting a bit of rotation in, into the hamstring. As okay, well, so, show, so show me the way. We'll do both palms down to start with. Okay. And then all you're gonna do is just take a really small step forwards. Uh, we will do the right foot to start with. Okay. And then just imagine a lean as far forward as you can and get to it uh, as close to the floor as you feel comfortable with. And then all we're gonna do is just push and rock the club in different directions. And just go to ranges that feel comfortable. Let the body move around a little bit if it needs to. And just so you feel different pulls or different reactions through the back of the leg. And then we're just gonna come back up. So that's like a slightly dynamic stretch, yeah. right? We don't we want to avoid static stretching, yeah, don't so we? Yeah, so it's definitely it's trying to get the muscle to react to something. Okay. So it gets a, a bit. So other leg. Yeah. So we'll do the other leg. So exactly the same. Small stretch. Step forwards. We're just push in all different directions. How many so, How many times are we looking at to do this? I probably do three or four each one, and then swap over to okay. the times. Okay. All right. Um, and then hopefully you felt the muscle react yeah. differently. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to do it for uh, a bit of take back rotation. So this time we change the hang grip. So we're going to do left palm down, right palm open. Okay. So it's the same movement with the foot. Just bring your legs a little bit closer together. That's it. And just straighten them a tiny little bit more. That's it. And then you're going to lean towards the floor. And then you're just going to try and get the bottom of the club across and then bring it back. How, how far do I want to go? As far as you feel comfortable. So if the legs start to really go, try and go to ranges where the legs don't go. So I would just pop something there. So that would be the range comfortable for you. And the, the closer you get the club to the floor all the way through, the more pull you will feel. And you want to smoothly go in, smoothly go out, so it just feels nice. That's it. So again, three or four, and then you would swap sides, so you swap the hands over. That's it, small step. And then just smoothly in, and smoothly out. And again, I would do this three or four times on each leg. Okay. And that should feel a different move yep. for the hamstring. Again. So that's the hamstrings area. covered. Yeah, so yeah. hamstrings pretty well sorted now. So hopefully, if you just go down, it should feel a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, that's actually, lighter. yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's a big difference. Um, so, a lot of issues where people come to me or challenges they have is take back. Yeah. Getting good range of motion in take back. So, um, whenever we do a take back exercise, we do right palm open left palm down, then all we're going to do to start with, really, really simple, but really, really effective, is just push the club out in front a little bit. From a golf stance type From of thing? From a golf stance that feels comfortable. Uh, not too far, just okay. in between the two. So if you come really close, then go really far, and then just find something that's comfortable in between the two. I find that the person finds what's best for them. Okay. And then all you're going to do is just imagine doing your take back. That's it. And smooth your back. And just get a smooth rock. Good, so I do three or four of these again. But with this exercise, the constant is going to be the upper body rotating back. Yeah. 
but we're going to change the foot position. So we're okay. not going to change the club over. Right. So we got, what we're going to do now is take up all the, all the room in the hip. So we bring this foot forward a little bit. I'd go a little bit more so we really take it. So like a, almost like a foot in front yeah, of one so, another? Yeah, level with your big toe. Okay. Carry. And then exactly the same, just nice and smooth. And then go to a range where you try not to let this knee go. So this knee maintains. And you should build a bit more of a pull through the hip. Yeah. Yeah. So we're taking all the room and making it work really, really hard. So again, through a ball. And then this time, we're going to have the foot back. So again, again, this time aim for your heel. So am I keeping the left in the same place? I'd keep the left where it is. Okay. Yeah. So I've gone from there and now I'm just to yeah, here. Yeah, so exactly the same. And now what we're going to do is make it really, really easy. This makes it really easy. See the range difference. Yeah. So again, you get a nice smooth rhythmical movement. Again, try not to let everything move too much. Just go to ranges where it just moves a little bit. Good, and then I would come back to feet level again. Then do exactly the same. And now that should feel a little bit easier. Yeah, it does. It should feel like you can get a little bit further with a little bit less effort. Yeah. Good. Okay, so then uh, one for Would we do it the other way? Yeah. Uh, not, not as in a sense the other way to do a left swing, back swing. We do the other way to follow through. Okay. If that makes sense. All right. So then we're just going to do a simple one for impact. Because I break down the swing into three areas, really. All right. You've got to take back impact. Bottom three. Okay. okay. So for impact, you can either do that hand position. Yeah. Left palm up, right palm down. Or that way, I don't really mind. It's whatever feels comfortable for the golfer. If the golfer feels more comfortable that way, they can do it that way as well. All right. Okay. So with this one, it involves a little bit more movement. The first two were quite, quite easy. Yeah. So we're going to start the club away from us a little bit. And as we step, we take the club back and then we into the leading leg. So okay. start the club behind us a little bit. As we step, we take back and then hit. So we're stepping. Okay, so as I'm stepping, the club's going back. back. And then we hit into the lead leg. So then hit into your lead leg, that's it. Good. Okay, yeah, find out a rhythm and a range that's suitable for you. Again, three or four. And then what we do, I'd get you to step forward. So exactly the same, but this time... Diagonally step forward. Good. That's a nice and smooth. And then this time we get you to step back and behind a little bit. So now we're starting to make the pelvis rotate left, which is ideally what we want it to do through impact. And then you go back to the same again, step, and then that should be a little bit freer again. So we take the original movement, yeah. tweak it a little bit, and then hopefully when we go back to the original one, it goes off. This feels a little bit easier. That does the swing, I and mean, the moves do definitely feel a little bit easier. So that's it. We've got one more, okay. which is just follow through, which is really, really simple, which is literally just step, smooth rhythmical bounce at the top, step, smooth rhythmical bounce at the top. All right, just give that a bash. Any, doesn't matter with the hands. Hands ideally, this time left palm open, right palm down. Okay. And then you just step. And the aim is to feel high yeah. into a range that feels really, really nice. So if you feel you can't get too far, it's not pulling very nice, just go to a smaller range. It's about being comfortable, but you know, pushing yourself a little bit, Definitely. right? Definitely. And the more you get used to them, the more the body will get used to it. Yeah. And once you get used to them, literally if you do three or four reps on each one, it literally takes... Yeah, I mean, minutes. we've been explaining it, so it's going to be double the time at least, but... Yeah. A couple of minutes there, and once you've remembered it a few times, you can knock it out pretty quickly, yeah. pretty and then off you go and hit 300 yard drive, right? Good so, <laughs> all right, so give that a try, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just leave your comments below, and uh, we've got some more stuff coming from John uh, coming your way soon, helping you get a bit more power and natural speed in your golf swing. So, if you want more great free lessons from us all you have to do is go to the art of simple golf.com slash free and you'll be getting a great series of lessons and interacting with our community thanks